The Sterling by Swift series offers the UK's largest manufacturer real flexibility. It's designed to appeal to a customer who's looking for something completely different, both in terms of the finish and the build of their van. The innovative, timber-free Smart HT construction has rightly come in for plenty of praise since its launch in February. It's currently only available on the upmarket Continental, along with its Swift Elegance Blood Brother. But for 2015, the range has been extended to seven models with the new 530, 565 and this, the 630. It's the second four-berth twin-axle Continental model to be introduced and features a conventional longitudinal fixed double rather than the 645's transverse island bed. From without, it's largely business as usual, apart from the addition of Alco secure wheel locks as standard for the 15-inch alloy wheels, plus wiring for the motor mover that Swift anticipates most buyers will want to fit. The Continental sits on an Alco chassis and it's fitted with the ATC anti-snaking system. There are these steps on the hitch to help you clean the front of the van and an enormous gas locker. They do remember, don't overfill it, otherwise it will upset the load when towing. Like all Continentals, it's a good looking van with sculpted structural corners and a streamlined shape that's claimed to improve both fuel consumption and stability on tow. It's packed with kit too. There's an external 230 volt socket, a barbecue point and a shower. But it's inside that the Continental really makes a statement. Unlike its elegant sibling with its timber effect, in here we've got hessian walls and contemporary fabrics. It may be outsold by the elegance, but to me it feels like a breath of fresh air. And I love the thoughtful touches, such as the spirit level built into the front shelf, which tells you when you've pitched as badly as we have today. As you can see, it's lovely and light in here, thanks to that thick sunroof. And these sofas are really comfortable, without too much of a knee roll. The near side one is a bit short to be a bunk, but this single is pretty generous. And all you do is pull out a slatted base and it makes a good sized double. That bed's only really likely to be for guests. The master suite's in the back here, behind this screen. The near side fixed double is big enough for six footers and features a comfy Duvalet Duvalite memory foam mattress. There's a vast amount of storage in here too, with overhead lockers, a large hanging wardrobe and a huge underbed area that can be accessed from outside the van. You'll also find a television mounting point and there are some really nice details, in particular the backlit bedroom mirror. The rear washroom takes full advantage of the 630's 6.5 metre internal length. It's huge in here, with good sized shower and plenty of elbow room throughout. I also really like the large heated towel rail and the concealed storage for the freestanding lounge table. This is the sort of bathroom you expect in a van aimed at the seasonal pitch audience. And that just leaves the kitchen. Here again, you're not left wanting. There's a four burner dual fuel stove, a separate oven and grill, and a large Dometic fridge and separate freezer. While worktop space initially seems a bit meagre, there's a fold-up extension panel, plus a small sideboard opposite beneath the Natty Drinks cabinet. This is clearly a van for entertaining. The 630's weight closely matches that of the 645 at around 1900 kilos, which means you're going to need a big 4x4 to tow it. It isn't cheap either, putting it up against the likes of the Buccaneer schooner. Despite that, it's easy to see why these Sterlings are finding enthusiastic homes. If you're a couple looking for a stylish, highly weatherproof van for a seasonal pitch, or a rallier who likes to have the occasional guest, it's hard to fault.